Part 1 The Lower Limb Anatomy In this video lesson, you will learn the anatomy of the lower limb. When coupled with the pelvis, the lower limb occupies half of the body height. It's very important to know its proportions, the bones, and the major muscles. Let us begin with the lower limb proportions. The axis of the center of gravity is indicated by a vertical line. These upper and lower marks on that line indicate the top edge of the pelvis and the bottom edge of the foot. The distance from top to bottom is divided into six parts. The lowest part is the distance between the bottom edge of the foot and the ankle. The five remaining parts are equal to each other. The top part is the height of the pelvis. The hip joint level is one-third from the pelvis bottom. This is the ball and socket joint between the pelvis and the thigh bone. I will draw the pelvis and the sacrum schematically. The buttock part is defined as the gluteus maximus muscle. The front portion of the thigh is occupied by the quadriceps group. The word quadriceps means four heads in Latin. The shaft of the shin bone is located very close to the front surface of the lower leg. Let us make another sketch. This time, we will examine the geometry of the lower limb from the front view. The axes of each lower limb are indicated here as straight lines from the hip joints to the bottom of the feet. As you can see, these axes are not vertical, but tilt downward and converge at the bottom. The femur axis is tilted even more. The neck of the femur begins diagonally from its head, and then the femur shaft travels downward to the knee joint. The axis of the tibia goes from the knee joint to the ankle joint. On the front portion of the leg is the shin muscle. This muscle begins at the upper part of the tibia and the fibular and inserts into the second through fifth toes of the foot at points on their second and third phalanges. This muscle lifts the foot upward.